First, dodge the shotgun discharge. Then, destroy the armor. Use the snuff box to distract the target. Discombobulate. Hello, and welcome to Sherlock Holmes Chapter One an open-world action investigation game that lifts the curtain on what could be the first case of the world's greatest detective. Armed with his bright mind, unyielding stubbornness and arrogance, young Holmes has no issue tackling lawbreakers face to face. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at what tools Sherlock has in his disposal to bring criminals to justice. I'm sick of... Who's this peacock? Does he know who I am? I definitely know who you are not. You're not a dictionary reader, at least. I wanted to see how you... pals interact with each other in your natural habitat. But I'm afraid I have to interfere. While gunfights only happen ever so often, they require focus and fast reflexes. Sherlock's agility and speed give him the edge over his foes but his relatively small health pool makes him a glass cannon. In addition, cover can only grant a few moments to breathe, but enemies will do everything in their power to smoke you out. It's a much more effective tactic to always switch positions and time your dodges. They can help reduce or even completely avoid incoming damage. Plan your actions ahead. Swoop in to land a blow and retreat to safety as needed. Most of the time, you will be facing two or more outlaws that work together. Some will constantly push you into close combat, while others will try to outflank you or mow you down from a distance. As you hastily maneuver among the crooks, use your sharp eyes to spot their weak points. Shooting these will stun your foes and give them an opening to get close and take them down. You can also use environmental hazards and your rechargeable snuff box for the same purpose. To arrest someone, you need to stun them first. Each takedown is the embodiment of Sherlock's arrogance. Face slaps, mid-air jabs. Put your opponents in their place. Some enemies will wear armor and helmets to cover their weak spots. Helmets can be shot off after all armor pieces are destroyed with precise gunfire. But while the non-lethal approach is considered cannon, you still have the option to shoot and kill your assailants. We don't want to limit your options, especially if you lose control of the situation. Should you find combat too hard, you can always adjust its difficulty settings independently of investigation. In addition, you may go as far as skipping gunfights whatsoever and focus solely on finding culprits and exploring the world. Play the game as you want. If, however, you find yourself craving more fighting, consider visiting the bandit lairs. Each one is significantly harder than quest encounters and offers various challenges such as less health or no environmental hazards. Each time you survive a bandit lair, you will get a money reward according to your performance. The less shooting you do, the less damage you take, and the more challenges you activate, the better your score and reward multiplier will be. After beating each danger zone, you can use your money to buy new outfits or rebuild your family mansion.